కృపా వార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము శ్రమ ఓ అయ్యో స్వార్థ ప్రకటింపకపోయిన ఎడల నాకు శ్రమ ఓ అంటు మీ ఇఫ్ ఐ డు నాట్ ప్రీచ్ ద గాస్పల్ నీ సువార్త చెప్ప శక్తిని రాధాయేసు క్రీస్తు రక్షక కోత కొరకు దాస జనమున పుమో ఈ సరి మా లోటు పాట్లు తీర్చుమో ఎన్ని రేట్లు స్తోత్రములి విగో వందనం బొనత్తమో ప్రభో ప్రభో వందనం బొనత్తమో ప్రభో ప్రభో వందనంబు తండ్రి తన యశోద్ధాత్ముడా వందనంబులందుకో ప్రభో కోత కొరకు దాస జనమునాంపము ఈ సరి మా లోటు పాట్లు తీర్చుము ఎన్ని రేట్లు స్తోత్రములి విగో ఎన్ని రేట్లు స్తోత్రములి విగో వందనం బొనత్తుమో ప్రభో ప్రభో వందనం బొనత్తుమో ప్రభో ప్రభో వందనంబు తండ్రి తన యశోద్ధాత్ముడా వందనంబులందుకో ప్రభో శ్రమ ఓ అయ్యో స్వార్థను నేను ప్రకటింపకపోయిన ఎడల నాకు శ్రమ ఓ అంటు మీ ఇఫ్ ఐ డు నాట్ ప్రీచ్ ద గాస్పల్ పాల్ రియలైజ్డ్ the importance of preaching gospel the necessity of preaching gospel i have decided to preach nothing except the message of cross paul not only realized the significance of preaching all also realized the significance of the message of cross i have decided to speak nothing except the message of cross because the message of cross is the power of god to save men from perishing from suffering from danger from loss from fear from all kinds of tribulations from all kinds of problems because gospel has the power to save men paul believed that it will be woe upon him suffering upon him if he do not preach the gospel అయ్యో స్వార్థను ప్రకటింపకపోయిన ఎడల నాకు శ్రమ విత్ సచ్ మిషనరీ జీల్ విత్ సచ్ 
enthusiasm with such determination paul has preached the message of cross don't we see the result don't we see the consequence the new testament the new testament of the bible comprises of 27 books more than half of the books of the new testament are composed compiled authored by paul through the leading of holy spirit through the counseling and guidance of holy spirit what a blessing not one not two fourteen of the new testament books are compiled by paul including the celebrated book the hebrews the book of hebrews is authored by paul the church revives refreshes renews receives new grace new strength new power when meditating upon while meditating upon through meditating the letters of paul simple letters sent from prison to his disciples became the part of the bible what a wonder what a humility we see in paul i hear that there is division among you i hear that there is conflict among you whenever paul sees a problem sees a trouble paul rectifies the problem i heard that there is, there are conflicts differences among you paul is addressing the church some say that they belong to paul some others say they belong to kepha meaning peter some others say they belong to apollo what is this division why are you divided what is the reason for this conflict have i been persecuted for your sake have i taken up your iniquities have i taken upon myself your sins has apollo taken upon himself your iniquities your sins shed his blood for you has peter been persecuted in your place only christ it is not in me it is not in apollo it is not in kepha there is nothing in the one that sows there is nothing that waters but it is in god that causes the growth that gives the life what is greater body or breath life itself what is greater clothing or 
the body itself. There is nothing in me, there is nothing in Apollo, there is nothing in Kepha. Do not become fans of us. We should not be a cause of division in the church. Only Christ is the foundation. You belong to Christ. The church belongs to Christ. Jesus is the head of the church and the church is the body of Christ. Each member of the church is a part, a member of the body of Christ. What a privilege, what a honor, what a power. Is it a ordinary thing to be the righteous right hand of God? Is it an ordinary thing? To be one of the parts of Jesus Christ. We will be lifted up to such glory. Through us, Jesus Christ, the resurrected Christ, seated at the right hand of the Lord Most High, enthroned at the right hand of the Lord Most High, enthroned on the right hand of the Father God, does miracles, does wonders, as Paul has been used by Jesus Christ for his glory, for building the church, for comforting many, for consoling many, for reviving many souls, for refreshing many souls, for leading many to everlasting kingdom of God. God can use you as well. God can use any of us provided we humble ourselves. I will not be disobedient to the vision that has been granted to me. What a resolution, what a missionary zeal, what a determination. I will not be disobedient to the vision that has been granted to me. Most of the today's uh, Christians forget the visions they receive. Become obedient to the, become disobedient to the visions that were granted to them. Become disobedient to the call that has been given to them become disobedient to the anointment they have received. Paul was, Shaul was anointed, anointed king only, but disobedience. To listen is better than to offer sacrifice, to obey is better than Offering sacrifice. Bali Arpinchita Kante Mata Vinutasres Tamukada Samuel, the prophet of the Lord, corrects the first king of Israel, Shaul. Is it not better to obey than to offer sacrifice? Ordained king only, anointed king only. But what has happened? Shaul has forgotten the source of ordination, the source of power. When you yourself were inferior in your own eyes, when you were so small, when you were so unworthy, in your own eyes, belonging to the tribe of Benjamin, so small a tribe, God has found you, God has chosen you, God has anointed you, God has lifted you to the throne, whom you should be obliged to. What should be your first office, what should be your first priority? 
is to honor god is to fear god is to praise god is to thank god is to have fellowship with god is to receive counseling from god or to fear men or to please men we will not be pleasers of men we will give ourselves to prayer and preaching what a great contrast between shaul and david except in two instances david never displeased god for the two wrong doings david repented and turned to god god is compassionate god god is gracious god is slow to anger abounding in love and faithful so chapter 103 verse 8 the lord is compassionate the lord is gracious slow to anger abounding in love and faithful when david realized his sin David turned to God with a broken and contrite heart. The Lord will not reject a broken and contrite heart. Veriginaligina hrudeyamuno nevu alakshyamu cheyvadavu kaavu. A broken and contrite heart is a pleasing offering to the Lord. In the two instances where in David the trained over Israel for 40 years turn to god in repentance with a broken and contrite heart sought forgiveness god himself made atonement for the sins iniquities of david such repentance was missing in the life of shaul the end of shaul was so sorrowful so pathetic Oh unto me if i do not preach the gospel because the gospel is the power of god i have decided to preach nothing except the cross on which christ is crucified because the message of cross is the power of god to those that are being saved but the message of cross is foolishness to those that are perishing na sinjo arikine silwa verita namoganunnade rakshimpa badchunna papike devo ne shakti ayunnade
निरक्त में निरक्त में नन शुद्धि करिंचन निरक्त में न बालम ब्लड इज लाइफ हु हैज शेड ब्लड फॉर यू हु हैज टेकन अप योर सिंस हु हैज टेकन अप योर इनिक्विटीज एक्सेप्ट क्राइस्ट सो to whom you belong do you belong to paul do you belong to apollo do you belong to peter i am a baptist i am a pentecost i am a roman catholic so many divisions so many elections so many disturbances so much conflict within the church satan's focal point is the church these days because the church has become defenseless the church has lost the armor the church has lost the weapon of prayer we will give ourselves to prayer and preaching so much preaching 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 no fruit your tile preaching dead preachers delivering dead sermons to dead people where will be the revival the apostolic preachers the apostles in the apostolic church realized the significance of prayer and preaching preaching and prayer should go hand in hand em bounds the greatest monuments monument of faith all through his pastoral services as fervent in prayer the effectual and fervent prayer of a righteous person avails much with much prayer he embounds pastored the church his first book was only published after the saint slept in the lord went into his glory received into his glory the chief occupation of em bounds was prayer and preaching and pastoring the church all other things are of secondary importance even in his old age even in his 70s em bounds has made it a point to pray for 4 hours a day early in the morning before the sunrise waking up before the sunrise and praying for 4 hours where are such prayer warriors while writing regarding apophra paul writes there is none like apophra apophra is battling in prayer for your sake interceding praying for you praying for the church there is none like apophra if paul were to be physically present in today's church can paul find any apophras in today's church can paul right regarding you as he has testified regarding apophra there is none like you can fill the name if you are to be as prayerful as apophra there is none like apophra that has been praying with burden 
offering fervent prayers and intercessions for the growth of the church for the well-being of the church for the safety and security prosperity of the brothers o unto me if i do not preach the gospel ayo swarthanu prakatinchakapoyane edala naaku srama wherever paul was paul was preaching and there has been great wonders following there has been great miracles following those that have never known the bible those that have never heard of jesus christ are coming to the knowledge of the saving grace of god and turning from idols that cannot speak that cannot see that cannot walk that cannot hold turning from idols mute idols turning to the living god with a change of heart with new lives those that are practicing witchcraft those that were practicing black magic were all bringing the scriptures that were that they were using to perform such black magic witchcraft and burn right in front of the saint apostle paul treasured possessions very expensive very valuable antique materials scriptures age old scriptures that were used to perform black magic witchcraft what a great revival what a great conversion what a great change such miracles have happened when paul wherever paul went wherever paul has preached there has been such great healing such great miracles because of the miracles that have followed the preaching of paul there has been great revival and the name of the triune god the father the son and the holy spirit has been glorified that is how the church has been planted wherever paul has went all through the europe all through the asia all through the asia minor turkey in jerusalem there has been much opposition no one believed the conversion of paul that has not caused any discouragement in paul no one was believing in the testimony of paul that jesus christ himself has granted him the vision appeared to him spoken to him no one was accepting no one was believing don't we know paul he was persecuting the church he was very violent he was very cruel person he was steadfast in practicing his own faith his own religion what a great change what a great conversion again there is a good person in the church able to see the work of god able to see the presence of god in the life of paul barnabas the son of encouragement gave his hand to paul when everyone was rejecting to accept paul into the church it is barnabas one barnabas is sufficient to make a change the name barnabas means son of encouragement barnabas lived up to his name barnabas is a very rich a wealthy person with so many land lands fields with so much pro- prosperity what for barnabas has used his wealth what for barnabas has used his riches what a wonderful testimony 
Barnabas has left in the apostolic church. Barnabas, the son of encouragement, when all others were fearful, when all others were apprehensive in believing the conversion of Paul, Barnabas stood up in the church boldly, bravely, courageously, gave his hand of encouragement, of comfort, of reception, of welcoming. Should we only receive good people? Should we not receive bad people? Well, he is a violent person. Well, he has caused much violence to the church, persecution to this church. Should we not receive the violent? Is God only shining his light on good people? Is God not giving his light to bad people? Should we become a stumbling block to the newcomers? Let him come. If his conversion were to be real, his deeds will follow. Why at all? Any of us should obstruct the newcomer into the church. Such was the stand taken up by Barnabas with the love of Christ. All his wealth, all his fields, Barnabas has sold, seeing the need in the church, brought the wealth and placed the wealth at the feet of the apostles. Such was the sacrifice. Such was the love Barnabas has. So obviously the church has to listen to Barnabas. There is no way the church can say no. Listening to the encouraging words of Barnabas, the church received Paul. From then, from then on, great wonders followed. Paul continued to be used as the chosen vessel of God testifying the name of Jesus Christ before the rulers, before the kings, before the Gentiles, before the chosen people of God, before the children of Jacob in Jerusalem, faced many life-threatening situations. But to me to live is Christ, to die is profit. Paul knew very well after his death what is going to happen. The moment his soul is separated from his body, what is going to happen to his soul, Paul is so clear. But to me, to die is profit. To live is Christ. Yet I decide, I desire to dwell in this earth and tabernacle for some more time, only for your sake, only for your good, so that I can prepare you for your home above. I am prepared. As I walk in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, you too can walk in my footsteps. Because I have been given so wonderful and great revelations, there is every chance that I may become proud. After preaching to many, I myself may get disqualified. Having fear in my heart, with that fear, I am disciplining my body. Because the revelations that were given to me are so great, what can be so great that Seeing Jesus Christ, what can be so great revelation than hearing the voice of Jesus Christ itself? Have you ever heard the voice of Jesus Christ? Has you ever seen Jesus Christ, the resurrected Christ? Because the revelations that are given to me are so great, there is every chance that I may become proud. I may become separated from the grace of God and I myself may become disqualified to enter into the heavenly kingdom. So I am disciplining my body. Oh, unto me if I do not preach the gospel. I do not want to become a burden to any one of you. I am not dependent on you. Though I have every right to receive all good things from you, 
I work with my own hands. I labor so that I will not become a burden to you. Day in and day out I am preaching the gospel with so much tears, with so much labor. As a mother nurses newborn children, I am caring for you, caring for your souls, guarding your souls day and night through my prayers. I am shepherding your souls. Paul is so confident of his services to the church, of the significance of the gospel that has the power to save the souls of men. O unto me, if I do not preach the gospel, ayo suvatnu prakitin chakapoy nedala naku srema. Silu anu mosukuni so vartanu che paati yesu nivembadimpa ento bhagyamune chitivi stotram chellintunu stuti stotram chellintunu దీవారాత్రములు కంటి పాపవలె కాచి దయగల హస్తముతో బ్రోచి నడిపించి తివి దయగల హస్తముతో బ్రోచి నడిపించి తివి సియోను మార్గముల పలు శోధనలు రాగ సతాను జయించుటకు విశ్వాసముని చితివి స్తోత్రం చెల్లింతుము స్తుతి స్తోత్రం చెల్లింతుము ధుని మేలు తలంచి స్తోత్రం చెల్లింతుము స్తుతి స్తోత్రం చెల్లింతుము సిలువను మోసుకొని సోవాతను చేపాటి ఏసుని వెంబడింప ఎంతో భాగ్యము నేర్చితివి ఏసుని వెంబడింప ఎంతో భాగ్యము నేర్చితివి స్తోత్రం చెల్లింతుము స్తుతి స్తోత్రం చెల్లింతుము ఏసు నా ధుని మేలులు తలంచి స్తోత్రం చెల్లింతుము స్తుతి స్తోత్రం చెల్లింతుము సజీవయాగముగా మా శరీరము సమర్పించి సంపూర్ణ సిద్ధి నుందా శ్రోధాత్మను నసగితివి సంపూర్ణ సిద్ధి నుందా శ్రోధాత్మను నసగితివి సజీవయాగముగా మా శరీరము సమర్పించి సంపూర్ణ సిద్ధి నుందా శోధాత్మను నొసగితివి సంపూర్ణ సిద్ధి నుందా శోధాత్మను నొసగితివి స్తోత్రం చెల్లింతుము స్తుతి స్తోత్రం చెల్లింతుము పాడెద హల్లెలుయా మరణాత హల్లెలుయా సద పాడెద హల్లెలుయా ప్రభుయే సుకు హల్లెలుయా సద పాడెద హల్లెలుయా 
प्रभु ये सबको हल्ले लोया लोधिया सीस द मिशनरी द वर्क ऑफ पॉल लोधिया हियर्स द गॉस्पल प्रीच्ड बाय पॉल एंड बिकम्स द डिसाइपल ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट ए स्ट्रांच बिलीवर ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट and invites paul if you think that i am worthy if you think that i am a devoted disciple of jesus christ you must dwell in my house you must enter into my house you must stay in my house what a wonderful heart hospitality do not forget to show hospitality by doing so somehow received the angels not knowing that indeed they are angels when ludia received paul and took paul into her house invited paul to her house what has happened ludia's house become became the church no you know what you are the temple of god and the spirit of god dwells in you when you receive jesus christ into your heart you yourself will become the temple of god you yourself will be the lamp of god shining forth light in the lives of those that are in darkness that are without hope that are in sorrow that are homeless how many people are without job without employment are you an employee are you a job holder then you need to be thankful to god all around as we see so many people not knowing from there from where they will get there next meal due to the present ecological crisis present health crisis economic crisis those that were previously having some kind of employment some kind of wages some kind of salary some kind of income most of them have lost their salaries their wages their livelihood what a sorrow what an agony this is particularly so in israel and this is not a good sign the promised land the land that is good in the sight of god the land that is flowing with milk and honey the land on which the eyes of god are present from the year beginning to the year ending if such were to be the state in israel we can imagine what will be the sorrow what will be the agony what will be the plight of people all over the world pray for the peace over jerusalem jerusalem peace is your peace during these times of pandemic there are many people that have lost jobs previously in most of the families both wife and husband were employed the present situation is such that in most of the families at least one of them were unemployed the income has been cut short to more than half reduced because the income is reduced will the expenses reduce will the bills reduce will the electricity bill stops will the house rent stops will the children's school fees stop nothing will stop from where they will get the resources from where they will get the financial help what an agony what a sorrow many are becoming homeless
pray for the peace all jerusalem jerusalem peace is your peace times are indeed troublesome indeed fearful do not fear be of good cheer in this world you will have tribulation i have overcome the world the one that is in you is greater than the one that is in the world if you belong to god if you fear god even in times of drought even in times of calamity even in times of famine even in times of ecological crisis climate crisis health crisis name any crisis you will not be troubled this is no story this is the truth the preacher himself is the living testimony for this the preacher has never seen in the past 40 years such a trouble sometimes the church has been closed on sunday even if the preachers dear ones to were to breathe the last the preacher will not stop the sunday service at least for one single sunday such was the commitment such was the zeal such was the dedication of the preachers pastors bishops what has happened to such zeal what has happened to such devotion what has happened to such commitment churches are closed for an indiscriminate time has anyone ever seen such things happening we are indeed in trouble sometimes pray for the peace over jerusalem the lions may go hungry but those that fear god will not lack any good thing paul has faced many troubles many difficulties ever since paul was called for being the chosen vessel of god the ministry the preaching of gospel is no bed of roses paul writes all kinds of tribulations that he has gone through the many kinds of betrayal not from outsiders from within the people of the church from within the disciples much betrayal much harm much beatings much rejection much suffering because of cold severe cold is it an easy thing to travel from every nook and corner in those times when there is no safe commu- transportation facilities nowadays we have air travel we have many kinds of travel facilities imagine the times of paul the chief mode of transportation is through waters and imagine the ship breaking collapsing the disaster of titanic what a great agony what a great pain all is no stranger to such disasters such natural calamities paul lists all the tribulations that he has gone through paul lists the situations when paul was at the gates of hell with no hope of even sustaining even retaining his breath under such fearful circumstances god delivers paul from death from the gates of hell because i am comforted in all kinds of tribulations i am now in a position to comfort anyone going through any kind of tribulation in all the tribulations paul was comforted delivered rescued provided 
by Jesus Christ. I will not be disobedient to the provision that is granted to me. Paul is no stranger to breaking of ships, being in oceanic waters all through the night in severe cold, being naked, receiving stripes, receiving wounds, receiving severe beatings, imprisonments. Today's preachers demand many so many resources. If there were not to be sufficient number of audience, today's preachers will not be willing to preach the gospel. If there were to be no sound system, no proper mics, the preachers will not be preaching. If the star hotel accommodation was not provided, the preachers will not be delivering the gospel, delivering the messages. So many demands. Paul has not demanded any of these demands. But to me, it is a, oh, it is a suffering if I do not preach the gospel. Because I know the power of gospel. I know what it is. To be departed from this body and to inherit the everlasting kingdom, everlasting fellowship with my Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Such visions were granted to Paul compared to the eternal weight of glory that is awaiting us. The present day tribulations are not worthwhile, are not worth considering how many tribulations Paul has gone through, many tribulations. Paul writes, these tribulations, the present day troubles and sufferings are not worthwhile, are not, are not worth considering compared to the eternal weight of glory that is awaiting us. But to me, the crown of life is awaiting I have run a good race. I have completed my race. I have fought a good battle. I have run my race. But to me the crown of life is awaiting. Manchi poratam poraditini na paragurtu damutti chitini ekano na karuku jeeva kiritam unsubadi unadi such was the revelations that were granted to Paul. Have you seen the crown of life? Have you seen the crown of righteousness? Have you seen the celestial city? Have you seen the kingdom of God? With 12 doors, each of the doors were made up of pearl. And the streets were of gold. Such were the revelations that were granted to John the Apostle, the Apostle of Love. If you are to be risen with Christ, seek the things that are above. There Christ is seated at the right hand of the Lord Most High. Sugunala Sampanuda Stuti Ganala Varasuda Jeevintu Nunitya Muni Nidalo Aswadintu Nuni Matala Makaranda Me Ye sayani krupatalan chagane nasramalu sramalu gani pinchale de 
కేసయ్యని కృపతలంచగానే నా శ్రమలు శ్రమలు గాని పించలేదే నీవు నాకిచ్చే మహిమయదుట ఇవి ఎన్నదగినవి కావులే సుగుణాల సంపన్నుడా స్తుతిగానాల వారసుడా జీవింతును నిత్యముని నీడలో ఆస్వాదింతును నీ మటల మకరందమే ఏ సయ్య నిన్ను వెన్నంటగానే ఆజ్ఞల మార్గము కనిపించలే నీవు నన్ను నడిపించగలవు నేను నడువలసిన త్రోవలు నీవు నన్ను నడిపించగలవు నేను నడువలసిన త్రోవలు సుగుణాల సంపన్నుడా స్తుతిగానాల వారసుడా జీవింతును నిత్యముని నీడలు ఆస్వాదింతును నీ మటల మకరందమే కంపేర్డ్ టు ద ఎటర్నల్ వెయిట్ ఆఫ్ గ్లోరీ ద ప్రజెంట్ డే ట్రిబులేషన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ వర్త్ వైల్ దిస్ సెవెంటీ అండ్ ఎయిట్ ఇయర్స్ విల్ బీ కంప్లీటెడ్ సో క్విక్లీ compared to the eternal life that we are going to inherit by believing in Jesus Christ. The earthly journey is a minuscule, a bubble of water. Should we not prepare for such everlasting life? timeless time in my father's house there are many rooms i am preparing i am going to prepare a place for your dwelling na tanri inta aneka nivasamlu kalavu meeku sthalamu siddha parichutaku nenu veluchunanu mee koraku nenu sthalamu siddha parichina tarvata meeru naatho kuda undinatlu nenu vachi mimmanu teesukoni velledanu the existence of heaven is as real as the existence of the promised land israel eyes have not seen ears have not known nor human heart has comprehended the things that god prepared for those that love him devudu thanu preminchina tante varu koraku siddha parichina tante swasyamo kantike kanapadadu chevulaku venabadadu hrudayaniki gocharam kaadu we may be deceived we may be disappointed at the end of the day if we place our trust on anything in this world but not on jesus christ because this hope in christ will not put us to shame because christ is truth if there is anything truth in this world it is only jesus christ i am the way i am the truth i am the life do you want life do you want everlasting life then you have to receive jesus christ into your heart and be converted as a new born child can a new born child cause any fear can a new born child cause any conflict is there any problem with a new born child unless and until until and unless you become newly born as a new born child you will not see the kingdom of god we see so much conflict in this world the earliest church where was the earliest church in jerusalem it was in syria it was in antioch today there is much conflict much suffering many people that are homeless many people that are in shelters tents 